and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Amy and I post lots of beauty, fashion and lifestyle content and today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. So I've showed this in a video before but I thought I would do an updated makeup collection to show you all of the pretty makeup things that I own. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this and also feel free to follow me on Instagram, it's at alohaimi underscore. So with all that being said, I really hope you enjoy this video and let's just get on with it. So this bottom drawer here stores all of my base products, so all of my concealers, foundations, powders, blushers, all of that kind of fun stuff. So basically I have things pretty organised in here. At the back up here we have a little tub which has my primers and setting sprays and facial mists. I really love a good facial mist. I just recently got the Mario Badescu one. I'm obsessed with this, it's so so nice and I've really been loving that. Anything with rose water I love. I also have this one from The Body Shop. This is another rose one, this is Rose Dewy Glow and I really like this and I also really like the other scents that they have from this range. And then I just have a few other bits and bobs. I've got like this primer here which is from L'Oreal. I don't really use primers that much so that's why I only have one and then I just have a few little sashes like samples down at the bottom oh, and things like that. This is my all-time favourite setting spray. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist and as you can see it's like a powder in here so you shake it up and then it mixes in and it makes my face so much more matte. It makes my makeup last all day and I just absolutely love this product. So yeah, I just have my sprays in the back there. Then in this little section here, these little tubs, I'm pretty sure I got these in TK Maxx. They are just little, like I think they're meant for cutlery, I'm not really sure, but they're like little clicky dividers. They all click into each other, which is really great. So I just have this little one here, which has some of my highlighters in it. Um, this is my one that I use every single day. It's the Becca Highlight in the shade Opal. It's my all time favorite. This is my second one that I've gone through. It is just amazing. So I keep that in there and then in this little pile of things here, there's just some palettes. We've got Revolution Highlight Palette and Elf Blush Palette. This is a really nice one, I'll show you. Um, and then obviously the Sleek Solstice Palette. This was a big thing for a while. It was quite hyped and it is pretty. I do like it. If I'm honest though, the only highlight I ever really use now is the Becca one. It's just my all-time favourite and it just sits really nicely and suits my skin tone really, really well. So I just love that. Um, I have a couple more highlights here. This is the Blushing Hearts from Revolution. It is really pretty. I mainly just bought this for the packaging. Obviously, it's not super practical, you know, for travel and things, but it is really good. It is pretty. And then a few more highlights. These ones are like brick highlights I think they're called shimmer bricks um this one's from 17 and it's pretty and then I just have a couple of bronzers then I just have a couple of setting powders so I have a loose powder and then my all-time favorite Rimmel Stay Matte it looks so so messy like <laughs> the lid's broken and it's all it's all scratched but it goes everywhere <laughs> it's such a good powder I also have the Kat Von D setting powder in the shade Translucent. Organising things. So in here I have one of these cutlery kind of divider things and then a little tub. So in here I have these three products which are from Trifle Cosmetics. This is a really cute little brand. I found them on Instagram and I actually won a competition and they sent me a load of things. So these are like kind of cream blushes or lip products they're really cool and they are all vegan and cruelty free and really cute packaging everything's like biodegradable which is amazing and i love that so such a cute little brand 
Then down here I just have all of my concealers and a few like liquid highlights and things. I'm sure there's a NYX one in here, yeah. NYX kind of cream highlight and then a NYX contour stick. I don't really use this but I might eventually. And then just my go-to everyday concealers. These ones for like spots and brightness and then this one for under my eyes. Then back here I've just got some of my sponges. This is the best one, the Real Techniques one. It's my favourite. It's just really soft and works really well for me. And then in this box here, this is all of my foundations. I do have a couple of extra concealers sitting here because I just bought these. I always have backups in case I run out because I use them so quickly. Um, so this is the foundation that I use every single day. This is the L'Oreal True Match Minerals Powder Foundation. It is honestly the best powder foundation I've ever used. I've tried Bare Minerals and it was okay, but this is just so, I don't know, I can't really explain. It's just amazing. It just builds coverage so quickly. I just dip a brush in, pop this all over my face and it just instantly airbrushes my skin. And if I have like a particularly bad spot, then what I will do is I'll just take a little brush with a little bit of this and pop it on the spot and it just covers it up so nicely and it doesn't dry out my skin it just leaves me looking really healthy and I'm just obsessed with this and I've been using this for a long time they even changed the packaging in the time that I use this so then back here we also have a body shop shade adjusting drops these are really good I need to shake them up but if you buy a foundation and it's too pale for you and Maybe if you go on holiday or if you fake tan or something, these are just a really good thing to have because you can adjust your foundation. You can also get the lightening drops, but most of the time I fake tan, so I do find that I need to darken my foundation and things a little bit. So this is such a handy thing to have. Um, and then I just have a few other kind of foundations in here. Some L'Oreal, CoverGirl, I think that's it really natural look and then I also have this one here which is from Revlon it's the Revlon Color Stay and I'm in the shade 150 buff this is when I'm pale um when I'm darker with my fake tan I do add a little bit of this into it but this foundation is amazing I love it if I'm going to be wearing foundation for a long time like wearing my makeup for a full day like traveling or like an event or something then I go for this foundation it's fabulous don't know why you keep your foundation on for 24 hours though not gonna lie but it is really good and it's matte finish which I do need especially if I'm wearing my makeup for a long time because I do get oily and I was really lucky that Revlon actually very kindly sent me this and let me be part of their Colors Day campaign on Instagram which was amazing it was the most amazing opportunity for me and I felt so lucky that a brand like Revlon actually considered me and asked me to be part of it so if you haven't followed me on instagram then please make sure you do because i have some more exciting opportunities and things coming up and i just love chatting to you guys on instagram so please make sure that you follow me it's at aloha amy underscore so this next drawer of products looks really really full this is my eye product and also my skincare if you don't know this already, I am obsessed with skincare and I just keep on getting more to try out. So that is what this area over this side is and then in here is all of my eye products. So I'll start with the makeup things. So basically in this little bit here I have all of my eyelashes and then in this little tub here I've got the eyelashes that I've already used and then I just kind of clean them and then reuse them and I just keep them all in there. So the eyelashes that I use, I don't think I have the actual pack. Um, this is what they, well, you can't really tell what they look like here. But the eyelashes that I really like are the Fleur de Force three quarter length lashes. They're amazing. Um, but I also have some individuals and these are all individual. Yeah, they all, they're all just individual lashes from different places. I get lashes from... TK Maxx and Boots normally um, and then this is just a little pot back here with like sharpeners and things like that then in here is all of my mascaras brow gel and just kind of like liquidy products 
Then I have a couple of eyeliners from Stila. These are really funky colours and they don't go in the pot with the eyeliners because they tend to leak. So they have to sit this way. Um, and yeah, I just have like some different mascaras and things. I've got this one from Lancome. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm definitely going to. And then, yeah, just NYX shimmer roll-on eyeshadows. These are really cool different things like that and then in here I have eyeliners and a few kind of brow products so we have a grey eyeliner I really like a grey eyeliner on a day when I do, I'm not wearing a super heavy makeup look I just think it's a nice kind of softer smoky look and then we have glitter eyeliners that is my eye primer I use that every single day another trifle cosmetics products this is a sweet strobe and it's really cool it's like a crayon and it highlights really nicely I love that for my inner corner and just a couple of eyeliners I've got an Avon kind of call eyeliner and then this is my favorite favorite eyeliner that is from Soap and Glory and it is their super cat liner it's honestly such a good eyeliner and is the one that I use every single day and this lasts for a long time it doesn't seem to dry out. I'm yet to try this and then I also have the Kat Von D tattoo liner I'm yet to try this but I am really excited I think it's meant to be really really good and then I have my brow pencil which I've used the same eyebrow pencil for a long time. I am looking for a new one to test out so if you have any recommendations if you are blonde for a good brow pencil then let me know. This one is from collection but everything's rubbed off it so I can't actually see but it just is a good colour and I like it but I will be needing a new one soon. Um, and then I think finally in here there's just some their eyeliner crayons, eyelash glue, this is the Kiss Adhesive, oh that's the same brand as my nails, oh I didn't realise that, <laughs> um, this is like the aloe one for sensitive skin and then this is my favourite eye product ever, this is the Stila Shimmer Eyeshadow, that's actually one for your face but I wouldn't put this on my face, it's a bit too glittery so this is just such a gorgeous shimmery glimmery shimmery party kind of look I just absolutely adore putting this on top of my eyeshadows it just looks so pretty and this is in the shade Monarch I got this in Sephora when I was in Hawaii and it's honestly amazing so over on this side is all of my skincare things so I have these little cotton buds which are for my Mario Badescu drying lotion and then I have some coconut oil which I put on my lashes and my eyebrows. I have a few things from the body shop. I really like their vitamin E range clearly. Quite a few things from there. And then a couple of bits from Mario Badescu. Sudocreme which is amazing for spots. Then I've got Pixie products. I love Pixie Glow and then I have a couple of their cleansers as well. I use them every single day. And then this is what I use to take off my makeup. It is amazing. I have used this for a long, long time and I just really love it. And sometimes you get the really big bottle on deal. So I always try and pick that up then. Um, I have another kind of moisturizer here. Some of my face masks. So I have like some of these ones. I have a Victoria's Secret pink one, which is a coconut one. I'm excited to try that. And then like some clay masks. They're all kind of hidden back there, but I do have quite a lot of face masks. And then in this little tub here, I just have like single eyeshadows and glitters and eyeliners and things like that that are in little pots. Okay, so this drawer here is definitely my favourite. I am obsessed with lipsticks and lip gloss, so I have quite a few. Um, so basically in this drawer, I have this little really cute little trinket box and I got this for my birthday from one of my friends it says sparkly things and in here I keep my lip balms so my favourite ones are from Ted Baker I have a blackberry flavoured one berry and vanilla and then I've got some from the body shop EOS lip balms are also really good and then I've got some little lip scrubs from Bite and a few other bits and bobs and I just keep that there and then that way I can just reach in and grab my favourite lip balm. And in this corner I just have a couple of boxes. This 
is what the box looked like that came with my lip balms. It's really, really pretty, so I just kept that. And then this is from Kat Von D. This was the Sephora birthday gift this year, and this has some samples of the lipsticks. So I just kept that like that. And these wee sections here in the back part, I keep these darker lip liners. I've got like kind of reds, pinks and kind of more darker berry shades. Um, I don't reach for them as much so I keep them in that section and then in here I have my nude lip liners. I use these pretty much every day. And I keep so. these in like this way so that I can see the colours. And then I also have a Marc Jacobs lip liner and it's in the shade I think Sugar Spice it's called. It is amazing. It's the most creamy lip liner I've ever used. It's amazing. I can't open it though. And it's honestly fabulous. It's such a good shade and it's in the colour Sugar High. So I'm absolutely obsessed with that lip liner. Here is a lot of my lip glosses. I have this really fun one which I got in Hawaii and I literally would just go back to Hawaii for this. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's coconut flavoured and they had like every single flavour you could ever imagine. Like so many fruits, it was amazing, honestly. And then this is just so cute because it's got flowers in it. It's just super pretty and it's like a little roll on lip gloss and it's just really nice and moisturising. It tastes really good. And I just like to wear this kind of, when I'm wearing nice natural makeup, I just throw this on and it's just so nice and it reminds me of my holidays. Um, I have, this lip gloss is amazing. This is from Collection and they do this in gold, green and blue. I'm not so sure about the green and the blue, but this is the pink one and it's absolutely amazing. Just put this on top of any kind of pink lipstick and then it just adds pink shimmer to it. It's just so pretty. Like I'll show you. Um, I have the matching lip gloss for the Marc Jacobs lip liner. This smells like mint and it's really, really good. It's such a beautiful gloss. I absolutely love it. It's so pigmented and I'm, I'm aware that it's kind of extra like Marc Jacobs Beauty. It's a little bit pricey, but I just, I just love it. And then I have a few from NYX. The NYX Butter Glosses are amazing. These are some of my favourite lip glosses. I've used these for ages and I absolutely love them. These shades are Creme Brulee and Strawberry Parfait. And then there's just some more lip, light, lip glosses and things back there. There's some from NYX. And then the Ciati Glitter Flip. This is really cool. It's such a dark ski colour and I do have to be feeling very confident to wear this. <laughs> But I wish I could, get, I'm going to try and get it in the pinky nude colour, but I do really like this, it's very cool. <clears throat> so then onto these ones here, these lipsticks are from Trifle Cosmetics, they're so cute and the packaging is biodegradable. Then I have some from Ted Baker, these are also so beautiful, I just really love these, lip gloss, these lipsticks, they're amazing. And then Bare Minerals. I think that's a mini from Bite Beauty and then a couple more from Bite. They have really nice lip products, I really like them. And then my little mini Marc Jacobs lipstick that goes with the gloss and the liner. It's just the best lipstick I've ever used. It literally lasts all day. It lasts such a long time. It's amazing. And the packaging is so cute as well. And then 17 NARS and MAC. And then back here, there's just a random row of lip glosses. I think they're from Victoria's Secret back there and Trifle Cosmetics. And then these ones here are obviously also from Victoria's Secret. These are like my go-to glosses. They're just perfect. You can just throw them on. You don't need lipstick or lip liner. And they just, they're really moisturizing and they're just so easy to wear. And there's literally like a shade for whatever my outfit is or whatever my makeup look is they're just I got them in a full set and I absolutely love these um and then I have this is my latest lip gloss edition and oh my gosh it is my most favorite lip gloss ever it is amazing and I thought you know some people might think lip gloss is lip gloss but no this is 
the queen of all lip glosses. This is Fenty Beauty in the shade Fussy and oh my goodness it is amazing. Firstly how beautiful is that packaging like it's stunning and the shade that I got is the kind of pinky one and it's just perfect for me. It smells it smells so like kind of sweet and like vanilla and fruit oh it's amazing it's so beautiful and it's just the most beautiful gorgeous shade and also the applicator is huge it's just really really lovely it just makes your lips look so like glossy and juicy and just really full it's just oh i can't get over how good it is and the packaging is so pretty then finally I just have some Bare Minerals lip products, then these Maybelline lipsticks which I really like, they're the colour sensational ones, and then some 17 glosses. I don't really use these anymore but they just look quite pretty. So that is everything in that drawer. I, I'm obsessed with lip products and I'm aware that I have quite a few but yeah, that is my lip drawer. Top drawer. This top drawer has most of my nail polish things. I'm not going to show you in detail what's in here because it is pretty messy. Most of the time I do wear false nails now. I use these ones which are from Impress. I really like this brand and I just pick these up in Superdrug. So um, I also use this Kiss glue as well. It's the same brand. It is really good and yeah. But most of my nail polishes in here are from Ciati. If I do wear nail polish, it is most likely that I'm wearing Ciati because it is my most favourite brand. It's just amazing. So I'm not going to show you too much in here though because it gives, it's kind of scaring me because it's quite messy. So I'm just going to close that also over. There's gap here. So there's this section in here that I keep things in as well. I recently got the Daisy Love perfume but the box is so massive and the perfume is so huge that it doesn't fit in with my other perfumes. So it's just sitting here for the moment. It is baby pink and pretty, so it does match everything. So I'm just gonna pop that on top right now just to show you in here. So firstly, I'll show you my perfumes down on the floor because it's just easier to show you all of these perfumes like this. So I have the Daisy Also oh Fresh. I have quite a few samples of perfumes and things in here. And then I have these ones here are the Harajuku perfumes. When I was in high school, it was really popular to give these as gifts. So I have quite a few and most of them are finished, but the bottles are just so cute. Like, look at this. I don't even make these anymore, which is so sad. They smell amazing and they are so, so cute. Like, look at that little, like it's so pretty. So I just hold on to these. I have one of them out on display in my room on this side. This is a DKNY perfume. I have kind of little rollerball ones here. I have Zara, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Paradise. This is such an amazing perfume. I love it. And I also love the original Bombshell. It's amazing, but the lid is broken on that one, so that's a bit annoying. And then the other one is the Victoria's Secret Tease Dreamer. This smells amazing. It's so holiday-ish. I love it. Um, and then some... That one's from Ghost. I don't think I've ever used that. <laughs> Juicy Couture. These are fab. And then I love Nina Rishi perfumes as well. This is the original one. And it's shaped like an apple. It's just so cute. And then also the Belle de Nina. This is the blue one. And it also smells amazing. Um, I have... Laura Mercier Tartle Citron. This is such a delicious perfume. It actually smells like lemon meringue pie. It's so good. And then obviously my favourite Prada candy. And then my other, my Daisy Love as well. So this is quite a full box. This and box here I have my hair accessories. So I'm loving that hair accessories are back. So I have been purchasing quite a few different scrunchies and hair baubles and things. I just I'm obsessed with it at the moment. And then on the top shelf I just have this little plant pot which I think is from Ikea with some fake flowers. I have a Rosie Huntington Whiteley for autograph um, highlighter. It's actually such a pretty highlighter but it's like a loose pigment one. I haven't worn this in ages, I really should. But it is really pretty. And then my brushes which are in this jar from B&M Home Store. I have three of these. It came in a set and they're all around my room so everything matches. I keep my hair brushes in another one and I just have all of my brushes in here and my 
rose gold lash curlers and then a Victoria's Secret bag and then this mirror which lights up you can adjust the brightness as well and this is from number seven and I love this I used to have the silver one and then when they started making it in rose gold I obviously had to pick that up so I absolutely love that so yeah that is all of my makeup drawers and then my palettes and things are in boxes on the other side of my room so I will go and get them. I have these three boxes here and the middle box has all of my eyeshadow palettes and my face palettes so I will open that up and show you what's inside. This one holds all of my eyeshadow palettes so I will go through them. Most of them are Too Faced, I'm not going to lie, like as you can see I have quite a few Too Faced palettes. So this is my most recent Too Faced purchase, it's the Pretty Rich palette and it is absolutely stunning. I love all of my Too Faced palettes, they're amazing and this is just so beautiful. It is a big chunky palette but look at the beautiful colours. And it has this really big mirror as well, it's all satin in here as well and it's just so beautiful. I like a kind of neutral rose gold kind of pinky eye so this palette is perfect for me and these shades here are like glitter gels they're so pigmented they're amazing and all of these shades are stunning and then I got this in the spring and this has been one of my summer spring summer go-to's and it is the Too Faced white peach palette it's so pretty and then inside it's just stunning you can see how much I love it I use these three shades all the time I think I've done a video using this before, it's just so beautiful, the mirror is huge as well and I love this for travel, this was great for going on holiday because it has really nice neutral colours but you can also add a bit more definition if you're going out in the evenings with like these shades here and things and build up some more kind of drama if you want to but it's just such a good palette as well. But this is such a cute little palette, I just knew that I needed to get it when I saw it on Instagram. Again, the entire lid here is a mirror, and then how pretty, like it's so cute, and it does smell like chocolate. It smells like chocolate, and it looks like chocolate, and it's amazing. This is such a good contour shade, and then these ones are amazing for brightening the under eyes. It just looks so cute. And then I have these two palettes here. This is the first high-end eyeshadow palette I ever purchased. And it's still one of my absolute favourites that I use on a daily basis. And it's just, if I were an eyeshadow palette, this would be me. I just think it's so pretty. And you can tell how well loved this is, but it's just amazing. <laughs> and yeah, I just have signature go-to looks in this that I can just reach for every day. And I know they're always going to work. And I just love having that because when you're in a rush and you just know you need to have a makeup look that you can trust, it's just amazing. For me, this is a little bit more of a bright, kind of more dating palette, but I absolutely love it. It's just so cute. There's a little gingerbread man there. And it's just really, really cute and sparkly. Yeah, some of the names are a little bit more cheeky on this one. <laughs> some are really cute, like warm and toasty and spiced rum, gingerbread latte and things like that. But there are some little cheeky ones, but we just avoid seeing them on the internet. <laughs> it's just such a gorgeous palette and I love it. I just love this one as well. And then the other thing is, I found this one in TK Maxx. Sometimes they just have such gems in TK Maxx. So this is the Cat Eyes palette, and this is one of their like little mini ones. It's really good for traveling, and this is just really cute with like a really nice kind of baby pink color, and it's just really nice and neutral, but you can add more depth with these colours here. I have a couple of BH Cosmetics palettes. I have the Wild and Alluring palette. This is so, so, this is really beautiful. I really like this one. This one and then this, oh, such a gorgeous palette. Carly did such a good job of this. I love Carly Bible. I think she's so stunning. And this is the original palette and these colours are just so beautiful. You can see how well loved this one is as well. It's just so pretty. I love the pink shades and they're just so nice and then the fact that there's highlighters for every skin tone in here it's just amazing I just love it and then I have some like smaller eyeshadow palettes I have this beautiful one from YSL this is like a kind of neutrals palette it's so pretty I'm not sure 
this is what it looks like it's just stunning and it says YSL in the mirror it's just so pretty and it just is called the couture palette it doesn't say like shade names or anything but it's just so pretty from Sephora it's all pink and pretty and I really like it like how beautiful is that shade candy I love that really cute trifle cosmetics palette which is really pretty as well and then I just have a random kind of gosh palette I don't really use this but it's pretty and then I have this one which I got this in Myrtle Beach Petal Pusher Palette this colour here you can tell how well loved it is it's amazing like it's just the most pigmented baby pink shimmery colour ever it's just stunning I just love that and then I have a few I have a couple of the W7 palettes I don't use these anymore I should really just get rid of them and then Revolution. I think it's just a neutrals palette. I don't really use that either. As I said before, literally all I use is Too Faced, so I have that's it's pretty, but I've hardly used it. Then finally at the bottom, I keep my bigger palettes. I have this gorgeous one from NYX. This is the Beauty School Dropout, and they have three of these, I think. And this is the medium one. This is the graduate, and then it just unfolds like this so it's huge and it's got loads of eyeshadows and loads of different colours this is great for when I'm doing like more crazy looks and then it's got these really good bronzers and highlighters and blushers as well these highlighters are amazing I love them it's really cool actually it's from Victoria's Secret and I can't open it I got it in an airport and finally I have a big Morphe palette this is the 35N and I think it's like a warm neutrals but it's all matte. I don't really wear this much. As you can see, it's barely been touched. But as you can see, it's barely been touched. But it is really nice to have. I tend to not really wear matte eyeshadows. So that's why I haven't really used that one. But yeah, that is all of my eyeshadow palettes and all of my makeup. I'm aware that I have quite a lot, but yeah. So that is my entire makeup collection. I know this was a really long video, but if you made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!